Um, and he was using that same kind of uh, feature and asking if that was possible in a bell or a bench to regulate which part of the bench's volume you're drawing from and, and, and really regulate what air mass you pull out of the stove. In other words, you know, the goal is, is to pull the cooler air out of the stove and keep the warm air in there until it cools off, right? That's what we want to do. We want to cool off the air or the gases with the masonry and, um, and draw, you know, so, so leaving the air in the stove, the, the gases in the stove, the, you know, as warm as possible for as long as possible. And so he went on to describe, uh, um, a configuration that he envisioned that would do that and, and what that configuration was I thought that this was awesome Augustus because you probably don't know, know this and maybe I haven't talked about it but the configuration you describe is one that I've recommended over and over again to people as the first step to take in tuning their builds okay and so what this is is those of you who have seen my plans for either my brick batch rocket mass heater or my brick J rocket mass heater, you guys know they're very simple builds. They're just a, a box bell um, over the riser, basically in the radiator portion, with then a brick bench down lower that extends off to one side. And many of the people who build my stoves, you know, one of the biggest questions I get is, can I extend this bench? And of course, as you guys know, my philosophy is you can increase that internal surface area up to not unlimited but you know you, there's a lot of leeway there because of the uh control that a bypass gives us to drive draft via injecting hot air into the chimney um but um in my designs we've talked about this before i run the chimney down inside that first bell the radiator bell uh adjacent to the riser so that that chimney picks up some heat from the gases exiting the riser and that helps prime the chimney it heats up the gases in the chimney gets them moving up and in that way even though the chimney entrance is way down by the floor you can start to suck the cold air up off the bottom of the volume of the stove and draw it out and in that way you can draw the warm air sort of farther down and start to heat the whole stove and this is sort of um, an addendum to the conversation last week about Pete's stove so with that said Augustus had a great question he said can you run that chimney entrance down the bench and in that way can we draw the colder air from the very far end of the bench and um, and down low on the bottom with enhanced draft due to the nature of this part of the chimney being right next to the hot riser. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting some interesting uh, comments from you guys. Well, we'll just keep going and see how these glitches work. I'm getting some errors over here too. I think it's just going to be the nature of it. So we'll just power through this one and see how it goes. And I already canceled my other internet, so we're going to have to work, work with it. <laughs> That's not true. I still have the cell phone internet. I canceled the DSL and that never worked anyways. Um, so at any rate, uh, this sort of long intro to this conversation was a way for me to tie Augustus' question back into m one of my design parameters. And now I'm just going to talk about that design parameter. So I know that was probably a confusing way to talk about it, but let's just start from scratch. You guys know my brick mass heaters, both the batch and the J, are just a simple brick bell with a brick bench. Now, as people start to extend that bench, what we start to see is we start to see um, a whole lot of cooling going on and it starts to become not necessarily difficult to run the stove because we've got power draft because of the adjacency of the riser to the chimney but what will happen is you will get that dead end section will take quite a while to really start to flow because with that power draft we're just kind of creating a lot of draw right in the area near the core and that's going to sort of keep 
things from moving. Now, if the bench is reasonably sized, the way my designs are designed originally, they'll heat up just fine without any adjustments. But one of the number one modifications that I uh, suggest to people is to go ahead and put a elbow at the bottom of the chimney entrance and run the chimney entrance horizontally at the bottom of the stove down the bench to the far end. So our chimney entrance is now down at the far end of the bench. However, that chimney still comes back internally near the core and still has the ability to gain draft by being warmed up by it's being adjacent to the riser. So in this way, you actually are providing some pretty significant draft or vacuum, as it were, at the far end of your bench, and you can accelerate the rate at which the stratification gas, you know, the gases move down the bench. In the, now, they're still going to stratify. You'll, you're never going to just suck the hot air straight down to the bottom. But what you can do is get that to flow more evenly down the length of a long bench or a bear without this modification. So I've had tons of emails from people when they're doing this. Can I extend the bench? What should I do uh, at this point? You know, when I get it this long, there's a corner here. Um, we've just started it up. The bench isn't very warm. We've been burning for two months. The bench is really hot at this end and kind of cool at this end. Um, what are some things we can do? And so this is really probably my number one modification, but I don't suggest it right out of the gate because everyone's build is different and everyone's burn is different. You know, if you're burning for a long time all day, it may not be necessary. Um, but if you're trying to get heat to the bench in a short amount of time and, and put some heat into the bench evenly, you know, it's a great way to go. So one of the neat things you can do is, like I said, just right off the bottom of that chimney entrance, put an elbow and then run your chimney pickup, as it were, down that bench to wherever makes the most sense to you in terms of flow. So, um, yeah, we're dropping all kinds of all kinds of stuff here. So hopefully it'll come right back and I'm just going to keep talking. Um, but at any rate, that is a fantastic way to, in some some sense, self-regulate the parts of the bell that you're drawing out of. Now, it's not always going to be perfect, um, but it does help you get over a lot of potential pitfalls that, uh, and it helps you smooth out uh, the way that heat travels through the bench. So, um, there's the answer to that. I